Hello YouTube family. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. Want to read to you another devotional. This devotional is entitled The Way of Faith. Now I'll be reading from my Bible, Hebrews chapter 11, verses 23 through 29. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hidden three months by his parents, because they saw he, he was a beautiful child, and they were not afraid of the king's command. By faith, Moses, when he became of age, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the passing pleasures of sin, esteeming to the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures in Egypt. For he looked to the reward. By faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. By faith he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of blood, lest he who destroyed the firstborn, firstborn should touch them. By faith they passed through the Red Sea as by dry land, whereas the Egyptians, attempting to do so, were destroyed. Ooh, amen. Hi, that's Baburin, now the devotional. Moses was an important leader of the Hebrew people, and many consider him an Old Testament hero. He was called to do great things with the Lord's help, and he encountered the presence of the Almighty in intimate ways. But all of his amazing feats were possible only because of his faith. Today's passage is part of what's known as the Bible's Hall of Faith. Those honored in this chapter believed God and demonstrated their trust with obedient action. James chapter 2 verses 14 suggests that all genuine faith results in action, and that's true for us as well. Walking by faith does not mean we're on an easy path. It can include hardship and even persecution. But when we remain true to the Lord through it all, our faith is proved genuine and we grow in Christ-likeness. Are you willing to rely on God's strength in your weakness? Do you believe He will empower you to stand firm in your face if you face adversity? The Lord responds to faith by enabling us to endure difficulty, demonstrating his power in our weakness and providing contentment and joy in the midst of suffering. Ooh, amen. All right. I hope you all enjoyed the reading. Hope it meant something to you. And until I read to you again, God bless you all and goodbye.